All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. This is another video for my AutoCAD architecture playlist. Um, what I want to do is I want to show you the correct way to dimension the exterior and interior parts of a floor plan, okay? Um, so the first thing you need, obviously, is your floor plan. Your floor plan is done already, and you want to learn how to dimension it, all right? So what I have here is I'm going to do the exterior first, and as you can see, we have a lot of different dimensions to show where each window is, where the doors are, uh, the overall measurement. We should have dimensions for where our decks and uh, landings and platforms and staircases are. And we're going to show you that right now. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you're on the correct layer for dimensioning. For me, my layer, when I click on one of my dimensions, is called a Anno Dims, uh, which should probably be the same name as yours as well, no matter what file you open. Uh, I also go up here and I hit make objects layer current and click on one of my dimensions that I already have to make sure that I'm on that layer. But you could also drop that down and just make sure that you are selected on that layer. Okay, so these are going to show up pink in my drawing um, and they are important to have on every drawing that you do because otherwise, you know, the viewer is not going to know how to build or how to understand or, or uh, how to read your plans. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to do the exterior on the bottom first. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to do a regular dimension here. This is just called dim linear and you're going to go from the left side of your floor plan to the right side of your floor plan and you put that out here somewhere. Okay. The next thing you're going to do in the next line is you're going to show where any exterior features are. So if I go from here to this corner, this is an exterior feature. I'm going to bring that down and put that pretty close to my one that I did before. So they know that off the corner of the house, 25 feet, 6 inches is where that staircase starts. And then you can use a tool called dim continue, okay, to continue going this way with dimensions. So I can click at the edge of that and then I could click at the other side of the house here. Okay, so you can see that it's not perfectly in the center of the house based on where the door is and that's important to know, but it is an eight foot wide staircase. Okay, the next line going in would be a regular dimension that would go off your corner of the house and it would go to the center of all your windows. Sometimes people will dimension to the edges of your windows, but that's not quite as important as knowing where the middles are. So if this is a double window, I'm gonna go to the space between them and I'm going to do a dim continue and I'm going to keep going to each window. This is a single window so I'm going to go to the midpoint of this window. I have a three set up here. I've got side lights and I've got my door so you could do to these points here and obviously it's understood that this is a three foot door so they'll know um, based on you know seeing this is three foot three and one fourth that there are walls between the side lights, you know, tiny walls between the side lights and the doors and the door itself. Okay. And then you continue. We'll go to the center of here. We'll go to the center of the garage and then we'll go to the final corner. Okay. So that side is done. Now we already know that the overall is 60. This is a simple ranch. So we don't really have many ins and outs of our drawing. If you had a different floor plan uh, that did have some bump ins and outs, let's look at this side here. We have let's turn off some things here whoops okay we have dimensions going to the center of windows we have dimensions going we have the overall over here this is our 34 foot half inch but then also on this side we have our exterior features it's going from the deck to here it's going to the corner of the house then it's going to the back corner of the house then it's going to the back of the deck okay so you have to show all these things on your floor plans because this is something that's very important uh, in order to understand where the ins and outs of your house are and where all your doors and windows are okay so looking at the right side here we'll do the right side for you uh, taking a dimension we'll go from here to here that's giving us 30 feet depth um, we'll go again and we'll start there are we do have exterior features of this staircase here so we'll put that there we'll do dim continue and actually this is important to note if you were to do this and you were to start here and go the other way when you dim continue it's going to start going the opposite way so you have to make sure that your first two clicks are in the correct order of the way that you're trying to move. I'm trying to move this way so I have to make sure that I click those two in that order. 
dim continue. Now I can click the other side, it's a four foot staircase, and then the other corner. And then again, we'll do some windows. We start with the regular dimension at first, bring that out here. We'll do a dim continue, and we'll go to the midpoint of that, the midpoint of the door, the midpoint of the window, and then the edge, okay? Now there are times when you're going to do this on your sheets and it's not quite fitting. So if you need to stretch these in, what you're gonna do is take a green box over all of these dimensions like this, um, not all of them, don't select anything that you don't need, but just you know, starting in the top right up here and going down to the bottom left and incorporating all those numbers, you can do a stretch and you can click out here somewhere and stretch those in a little bit further. That way it's a little tighter towards the drawing and that might help you fit on your layouts, okay? Um, so we don't really need to do the other exteriors, you guys understand that. Let's do a couple rooms on the interior, okay? It is common um, for this to either be the dimensions of the room or for this to say the floor type. So this could easily say on a plan, you know, carpet flooring, okay? It doesn't really matter which one it says because you're gonna dimension the room anyways. We need to know what the length and width of every room is. We need to know what the thickness of the walls are. Uh, we don't need to know the positions of the windows on the interior because we already have those on the exterior, but we do need to know the depth of closets, um, where these closet doors are, and so on, okay? So here we go, we're gonna do dim linear again. We're gonna go from here to here and show that that's a three and a half inch thick wall, which is just a standard two by four. We're gonna do dim continue. We're gonna come across. That's giving us our width of our room, which is 11 feet. That's giving us a thickness of the wall again. That's giving us our depth of our closet, thickness of the wall. Oops, I misclicked. Should say three and a half here. And then going across, and you can keep, they look really nice when you keep them in line with each other. So we've got that, we've got another three and a half. We've got the width of our living room three and a half we've got our width of our garage and our three and a half and then we hit enter okay so we've got all those going across all right now basically you're gonna just you know go the other way and make sure that you do this for each room so we'll do one more and then you guys can understand pretty much how this works every wall has to be labeled by three and a half uh, but you do not have to label I can't really point to the screen to show you but you don't have to label this outside wall twice so I would not need one here but I'm gonna go with one here, and I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna do my dim continue, and I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna show the thickness of this wall, I'm gonna show this feature right here of two nine and a half, then I'm gonna show how tall or uh, what the length is of that room, and then three and a half thickness of my front wall, okay? Now, it's not uh, wrong to show three and a half up here again. It, uh, you know, you can. It's just that it's not necessary, okay? Um, that's pretty much it. This is a short video just showing you how to dimension correctly. Um, you know, your kitchen, as far as the design of that goes, you really don't need to dimension to your cabinets and stuff because we generally label these as, you know, 24-inch cabinet, 30-inch cabinet. And at the same time, you are going to probably have a kitchen designer come out, just like your electrician in one of my past videos. They're really just looking at this to get an idea of what you want, um, but they're going to go forward with they, you know, the exact sizes and positions of everything and, you know, the way that they think it should go because they're the professionals, okay? Um, you're more the architect and you're, you know, just showing the floor plans, doors, windows, walls, the fixtures, where you pretty much want things to be. Um, you know, your electric the way that you would like it to be, um, just to help out the electrician. But for the most part, you focus on the things that we just said, okay? So thank you guys for listening and, uh, and watching this video. I really appreciate it. And uh, I think that we'll catch you in the next video. All right, thank you. This is AutoCAD Architecture 2019. Um, but we also do 2020. All right. Appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Gotta catch